the beat in the music, what it is that makes the music of Liverpool. It's only an insight into where we arrived at 1960 Mersey Beat and the Mersey Sound. I wonder how many of you have actually been in this building before, seen these artefacts? One of Liverpool's hidden gems. Yeah. Exploring the Cunard building with a historical perspective. So we're looking at the history of Liverpool music really and how we arrived at the Beatles and Mersey Beat and how various influences from around the world through emigration to various things resulted in American music coming back to Liverpool and then getting re-exported back to America via the Beatles. Fantastic, it's a kind of a living, uh, a living sort of theatre uh, tour, it's brilliant, it's uh, things come to life in front of you and people dancing and just know that everything around you is, is uh, it hasn't been reconstructed, this is all real as it was, it's, uh, it's fantastic. There's so much history in Liverpool, that's the thing, but this is a different slant on it. This is, a, uh, uh, until now really, a lot of this hasn't been uh, available to see and to view, so it's such a great thing to be a part of. It was, it was great to go in, into the, the past and, and to look at, again at the building and, and to listen to stories about what made us the city that we currently are. We know every aspect of what the Beatles did, but we don't know why they did it and where it all came from. It explores the Irishness and explores the, you know, the darkest hours of the city with the slave trade. And we arrive at why the city is uniquely musical for such a small place. So it's the untold story really, it's the missing link in many respects. You no, know, it's really, really good and it, uh, I think it captures the imagination. It's brilliant, I, I, I can't, I can't uh, praise it highly enough and I'll, I'm definitely going to be coming back and bringing my kids down.